Hi there. Today I'll show you two quick or relatively quick tweaks that can boost a little bit or even a really huge amount of your FPS. You might know them, okay? If you didn't know them, be happy. First thing I show you, um, we have now, a, a, this is a 4K resolution and um, yeah, we have the multiplayer turned on and, and multiplayer weather. Here's a guy right spa, spawned right in front of us. Anyway, go to your general settings and to the traffic. And then some guys say when you put this to not uh, KI offline or something or even to nothing, this will boost your FPS. But when you want to be in the real world online with your friends or whatever, just turn out... Uh, your labels and just for comparison go back 25 26 frames 23 to 26 I'd say so okay now just turn off the labels off save back now we have 28 to 29 it's just the labels, but we are still online and, and there's another player, maybe, I don't know, but we are together with our friends. So the next thing, for the next thing, I just pause uh, the sim. Um, we need this JavaScript file, which we get in a long path. So percent local app data percentage, enter. Uh, then, where was it? <laughs> Packages. Microsoft Flight Simulator and then an ID that might be different to yours, uh, to mine. So then local cache. Packages. Official. One store. And then a Sobo aircraft. Um, v cockpits instruments. This one. HTML UI, pages, V cockpit, instruments, shared. Yeah, we are there. Base instruments.js, a JavaScript file. So, and remember, okay, no, we don't remember. <laughs> we just, so this is the thing you will look for the can update function at line 235, or maybe at another point, but. Don't look for that, look for this, including this curly bracket. Once you found it, we make a new line in between the first and the second line of the function. Then we put this block of code in and then another else in front of that if. Then we have a new quality settings, high, and then the frame grout modulo three isn't zero, blah, 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 whatever. This means if the quality is high, that means if you are really in front of a glass cockpit and it's really close to you, then this renders a high quality image of that presentation. So this is the high quality. So, and then without the whole block, it renders it every frame or tries to render every frame and this draws your frame down. So we can reduce the refresh of the glass cockpit uh, displays a little bit because there isn't, they are not that important like the outer world. So we put that now to every third frame. Every third frame in high quality just only will be, will be rendered and nothing else. You can change this, but only three or four makes a sense. So we save that. And as I hope instead of uh, restarting the whole simulator, I just change the airplane. But remember first, we are inside now and have 25, 26 frames, about 26, yeah. And outside, it doesn't uh, make a difference, 25, 24, 25. 26-ish somehow okay then we in the dev options we choose the aircraft selector and just load a a320 but with another livery and that should reload the javascript file with no need to restart the sim 
here we are. So now we have 28 to 29 frames inside the plane. If you have a lower spec system, it can boost up to 10 frames per second. Try it for yourself. Now we have 24, 25, 26, 27 again. And at the outside, 22, this changes with the weather, with the clouds. Now it's back to, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, to a worse frame rate. What we can do is to turn off the clouds, which really change. So, and then make the, ch make the changes back. Not that you tell I'm lying to you. So now we have about 35 to 37. You see the clouds have a big effect on that, depending on the weather, which changes. So 20, uh, 30, 37 to 38. Okay, let's take back the changes. Here we are, safe. Quickly just load another plane. Air China, whatever. So we had 28, 27, uh, 38 down to 37. So now this other version of the file is loaded. Now we have 27 without the clouds. 35, 35-ish, yes. 36. The lower your system specs, the higher is the effect. Because my system can really render those, those things really good. Let's try the right alt key and put the mouse over a display. It brings up this plus sign. Then when you click, you get this. And you see it, it draws down now uh, your frames to 28. You can use this also in the outside view. Okay, then remember, let's remember 20, 30, 36, 35, without the tweak and with the uh, additional display, 26. Let's bring back the changes. Save. Load another aircraft. Now this is now with the tweaked file. I need to make the perspective like this to have all the glass cockpits in. Now the tweaked file is there. We have about 36, 37, 35. And with a uh, additional thing about 28 to 29 whatever okay I, have, I really have to admit this is not a huge difference but uh, I, on my notebook what has a GDX 1060 and it's just a, a mobile thing it, uh, it brought me about uh, about 10 frames per second this is a high spec system, what I have here. And yeah, try it for yourself and see what it does to you. And uh, just leave a comment if you like it. If you don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. And let's check uh, one thing. It was really nice. We bring that to the outside and then uh, we have this now, but at 30 frames, it has to render just one single thing. And now 40. Yeah, because they're not all those glass cockpits. 35, depending on the weather and whatever settings you have. Okay, see you next time and thanks for watching.